Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about prime factors and factor trees. So we're gonna uh, take this uh, number here, 60, as our example. And what we wanna do is find the prime factors of 60 using a factor tree. Now, if you've never used a factor tree before, but still know how to find the prime factors, that's perfectly fine. But uh, mostly out there, we're taught how to construct a factor tree. And if you don't know what this is, I'm gonna show you this in one second. But if you can find the prime factors of 60, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna go through step-by-step on how to prime factor a number. Uh, so using a factor tree and list those prime factors as powers. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer here. So again, we wanna uh, find out what are the prime factors of 60. And if you're not even sure what a factor is, well, I'll explain all this in one second, but let's go and take a look at the answer. The prime factors of 60 are the following. Okay, it's gonna be two times two times three times five. And that two times two, we wanna express that as a power. So we'll write that as two squared. So 60 is equal to the product of these prime numbers, two squared times three times five. These are the prime factors of 60. And you kind of um, hopefully kind of pick up the idea like, oh, prime factors. Maybe we're talking about prime numbers. Yes, indeed we are. So I'm gonna get into what a factor is and how to find prime factors using a factor tree in just one second. But if you got this right, Let's go and give you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100% and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know exactly how to find the prime factors of a number if you need to using a factor tree. Now, a lot of you might be saying to yourself, yeah, you I learned this stuff way back in the third grade, fourth grade, I don't need to use it because I'm going to be going into high school uh, or I'm going to be going to college, I'm going to be doing algebra. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. You absolutely need to have strong uh, arithmetic skills to be successful in advanced mathematics, okay? I'm, and I'm, you know, I'm telling you uh, something that is um, you know you know the truth. Okay? I've been teaching math for decades. Uh, some of you might be saying, "No, nah, you're just telling me that because you want me to be good at arithmetic." And you know, I'm kind of an old school person that just loves doing you know uh, basic math without a calculator. No, that's not the case. Okay, we need to put our calculators away, and we need to think about the concepts and skills that we learn in arithmetic. It's super super important that you understand these basic things. And a lot of students, even at the, like the middle school level, high school level, even college level, will forget these basic arithmetic skills that they're going to need, again, in more advanced mathematics like algebra. Okay, so let's go and get into this. It's going to be a short little video, uh, but let's take a look at our problem. Again, we want to find the prime factors of this number 60. But before we even start the problem, what are we even talking about? We're talking about factors, right? So... We want to find the prime factors, but what is a factor of a number? Well, let's go and take a look at a, a simple example. Let's use the number 10. So 10 is equal to 2 times 5. We all know that, right? But let's use some other fancy uh, words here, right? So 2 and 5, we could say the product of 2 and 5 uh, is 10. Okay, the product is the what? It's the result of doing multiplication, right? So the product of 2 and 5 is 10 and because 2 times 5 is 10 these numbers here that form this product these are factors okay 2 and 5 are factors of this number all right so that's what a factor is so uh, factors of 10 are 2 and 5 let's take a look at let's say 20 here real quick so what are the factors of uh 20 well there's a whole bunch of different type of factors i'm just going to think of something real quick how about 4 times 5 Okay, perfect, uh, the product of four and five is 20. So these are factors of, of uh, 20. Let's uh, think of some other ones. How about two times 10? Those are factors of 20 as well. But what we wanna do here is find prime factors. So what are prime factors? Prime factors 
are those factors that are prime numbers. Okay, so the prime factors of 10 are in fact two and five. Okay, so how we do that is we want to construct a factor tree. Okay, now let's talk about what a factor tree is, and this is what a factor tree looks like. Okay, basically we take the number that we want to uh, find uh, factors for, particularly prime factors, and we just kind of draw little branches out this way, and we start thinking of uh, two numbers uh, such that when they're multiplied together, get back to this number. Okay, so 10, you're like, well, it's either gonna be two times five, or we could go one times 10. Now, one is always a factor of any number, okay, including a prime number. So that's the definition of a prime number is the only factor it has is one, one and the number, right? So if we were like trying to use a factor tree with let's say 20, we could start that off as two times 10 or four times five, it doesn't make a difference. So when you start a factor tree, just pick two numbers that you know that the product is, uh, those two numbers gets back to this main number, okay? And then you'll continue on. But this is a real simple example of what a factor tree is. So for 10, we draw a branch out. This is two and this is five. Now because two and five are prime factors, what we wanna do is circle them, okay? So anytime you run into a prime factor, okay, in your factor tree, we want to circle them circle those prime factors. That is a good habit of getting into. So let's go ahead and take a look at the prime factors of 60 using a factor tree. Okay, so again, here I have 60. Now, the first thing we wanna do is figure out two numbers such that we multiply them together, right? Uh, that we're gonna get back to 60, all right? So these will be our first two starting factors. So you don't know how many branches of this uh, tree it's gonna to take two prime factor this thing, so don't overthink this. Just think of two simple numbers. I'm like, oh, six times 10 is uh, 60. Uh, two times 30 is 60. Doesn't make a difference. You'll end up in the uh, with the right answer every time when you finish. So don't get too kind of um, stuck on picking two numbers. So I'm gonna pick six and 10. Now, when I look at six and 10, you have to ask yourself, okay, can these numbers themselves be factored? Because if they could be factored further, they're not prime. So remember, we're looking for prime factors. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we want to construct uh, some more branches off these numbers. So we'll take six for right here, for example, and I wanna say, okay, what are factors of six? Well, two and three, right? So two times three, one times six, but we want to, um, one is always a factor. So we're looking for other prime factors, right? We're looking for the prime factors two and, and three. Like, oh, two times three is six, and both of these numbers are prime, so we'll circle them, okay? So we're like, okay, this is done. I'm all done going down this branch of this tree. Now let's take a look at 10. So you say, you're saying to yourself, okay, 10, what are prime factors, or what are factors of 10? Uh, and you're thinking about prime numbers, but if you don't, just keep going. Again, don't overthink it, just keep factoring until you can't factor anymore. And you can't factor anymore uh, once you run into a prime number. So for 10, I'm like, oop, two is prime, so I'm done here, and five is prime, so that is it. So that means that these uh, numbers here are our prime factors, which is two, three, uh, two, three, two, and five, meaning that our uh, number 60, okay, is equal to the product of two times three times two times five. Okay, so the product of these prime numbers is in fact our, um, this, these are the prime factors of 60. Okay, because the, again, these are all prime. Now, what you want to do is get in the habit of writing any repeating prime factors as a power. This is very, very important, especially when you learn how to uh, find the LCD of large numbers and in algebra. Uh, I can use the same process, uh, kind of, sort of, if you will, when we're dealing with variable expressions, finding the LCD of variable expressions, they, you know, we're, we're basically using the same concepts. That's why it's really important to know this, uh, know your arithmetic really strong. So here you can see two times two, remember multiplication, uh, you know, two times three times seven is the same thing as seven times two, uh, two times three, order doesn't make a difference. So two times two times three times five, two times two, we wanna write that as two squared times three times five. So this is the most 
kind of a correct way to write the prime factors of 60. Always use those powers, and uh, you'll see why when you study uh, things like the lowest common multiple, lowest common denominator, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so hopefully this little video helped you out. Now, if you need help with arithmetic, okay, whether that be fractions, uh, LCD, place value, decimals, percent, all that stuff, I'm gonna strongly suggest that you check out my little mini course. It's called my Math, um, Math Foundations. It's a three chapter course that just kind of like reviews all, uh, all the really important skills that most of us uh, have forgotten in elementary school and primary school that are so critical to your uh, success in courses like algebra. Okay, so you can check that out. Just go to my math help program. You can uh, find that there. Also, I have additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out with basic arithmetic, but there's really nothing basic about arithmetic. You have to be strong in all those skills that you learned in the third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, you know, later on. You know, a lot of us are like, oh, I don't need that anymore because I get to use a calculator. Put that calculator away and practice some old school math with a piece of paper and pencil. You'll be very, very happy that you did. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.